Hey guys, Jip here, and today I'm bringing you a pretty cool gameplay, and I decided to choose this over the other gameplays that I managed to get on downhill because this is actually a 25 gun kill streak with no perks and no attachments on the Peacekeeper. I thought it was pretty cool, and I was five off the nuclear title. I did something stupid near the end, and it got me killed. It's kind of sad because I was really hoping to bring you a Peacekeeper nuclear on a new map with no perks and no attachments. I thought that'd be the most perfect gameplay to be able to show off but unfortunately I only came up with the brutal but I think that's still an accomplishment if we were in MW3 this would have been a Moab and the reason why I was actually able to continue getting the peacekeeper kills and not having to switch to any other thing is because the peacekeeper is being used by so many people right now in the revolution map pack stuff everyone wants to level it up see what it's capable of and it's actually a pretty decent gun I like it for mid-range, but for close range, you might as well rock the older submachine guns, and for long range, the AN-94 or other assault rifles can pretty much outgun it, but nevertheless, it's still a pretty good gun. What I actually think about it, look-wise, it seems like it has the body of the F-2000 from MW-2, the iron sights from the TAR from the MW-2, and also some different uh, mobility and fire rates and everything like that. At the beginning of actually using this weapon, I thought it was basically a lower damage version of the MTAR-21 from MW2. It kind of felt that way, and its mobility and everything was about the same. But the more I actually played with it, it seemed like it had a resemblance to the F2000. And I don't know, I think it's a pretty good weapon. I might use it a little bit. I've actually already got it diamond, so I don't have to worry about doing anything else. I might take it to the max prestige that this weapon can go to, especially since supposedly coming up this weekend, we're going to have double weapon experience, so it might speed things up a whole lot more. And I'm almost done getting the Diamond Assault Rifles, the SMR is almost completed. Once that gets done, I will be able to actually use my Diamond Assault Rifles. Now, the Revolution map pack, I would have to say, is one of the better map packs that I've seen released in Call of Duty. In Modern Warfare 3, I hated uh, the map so much. Some of them looked stupid, and some of them just couldn't take advantage of the spawns and ended up just being trash because you were getting spawned on every two seconds, and it just made it to where the maps were unplayable. But I've got to say, these new maps that were released, I really enjoy them. I think Downhill is probably my favorite out of all of them. Downhill is really the only snow map in Black Ops 2, I believe, as of right now. And it's really good. It has the clear snow map. Usually the snowy maps that we have to play on, they're kind of clouded, hard to see through. But in this, it is actually a quite a beautiful map. And it's based in the Alps, I guess. And it has a type of gondola system running through the middle and if you don't watch out for the gondolas more than likely you can be killed I have found that I've actually been killed two or three times just because I stop paying attention I'm chasing after a guy and he manages to get by and then I get slammed by the slow moving gondola and I don't understand why they put it in there it, I mean it changes things up a little bit but sometimes it actually will mess you up because it will randomly stop in the actual middle of this building you go to actually kill somebody and expect the thing to pass in front of you but you stall up and have the enemy actually come back behind you and shoot you. So sometimes it can get annoying. But I've got to say, overall, the Revolution map pack, pretty good. I haven't played the zombie map yet. I'm still waiting to do that because I want to play with friends. But I want to know, would y'all actually like to see some footage from Die Rise? I would like to actually record like a full gameplay. It might come out to be like 45 minutes. And I'll break it up into smaller chunks and post it up on my channel. I think that would be pretty cool because I expect that Die Rise is probably going to be the best zombie map that is in Black Ops 2. As stated in previous commentaries, I really didn't like all previous zombie maps in Black Ops 2 because they seemed a little boring, they seemed small. They just weren't as good as Black Ops zombies. I mean, I really enjoyed Black Ops zombies, but in Black Ops 2 they decided to take zombies in a whole different direction, add a campaign, and make it seem more fun and interesting because everyone loved doing the Easter eggs. They enjoyed just finding out the storyline behind Samantha and I guess they wanted to take it and turn it into a story coming off the end of the moon easter egg but I don't know it just didn't have the same feeling but I really actually enjoy downhill the most grind is probably my second favorite and hydro comes in last I think Mirage actually can probably fight for second with grind I really enjoy that map I, the first time I actually played on it I actually got a pretty good gameplay I think I had like 40 to 50 kills and very few deaths so it worked out very well and I actually was using this score streak type setup the whole time the counter UAV VSAT EMP it allows me to move around the map learn the locations while keeping me off the radar but I'm not gonna run ghost I'm not running a silenced weapon I was trying to level this weapon up so I thought the best thing I could possibly do 
let's run counter UAV VSAT and EMP and that's what we we're also doing in this party all of us were running it because we all could focus on the kills rather than spamming kill streaks in the air and forcing a lot of people to rage quit and this is where I actually die I should have backed up taken my time but instead I try to take him face on with a peacekeeper and that's not the smartest thing to do because it is not a very good close range weapon you will get beat out by most other submachine guns now, two videos you probably missed. The one on the left is my 77 and 3 with the M8A1, and the video on the right is my Black Ops 2 Diamond Camo Tips video. A link to my Twitter will be down in the description in case you want to follow me or get into open lobbies. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Other than that, peace out.